What's up, fight fans? This is Kurt DeVille with Counterpunch Boxing News, and I have some more news for you. Uh, unfortunately, more um, negative news. Um, Frida George Foreman, as of yesterday, was found dead in her home. And apparently it's from a suicide. You know, I was actually going to do this yesterday because this happened a day ago. You know, but um, I didn't know all the facts and I wanted to know, you know, what happened. The coroner, you know, they've done their investigation and apparently it's a suicide. You know, someone 42 years old, two children, three grandchildren, you know, and it's crazy because I'm thinking to myself, like, what could have caused her to end her own life? You know, um, I know Tyson Fury is a person that said he, come, you know, contemplated suicide. You know, um, Kate Spader, a lot of people um, have done that. You know, this is not the only case, you know, and it just goes to show you that mental illness is real. You know, the like the worst thing that could affect you is you. You know, what I mean, the power of the mind is very, very important. So it's important from day by day on how things should affect you and how they shouldn't, you know, and, you know, it's crazy, you know, because you look at it, she's only 42 years old. You know, she she was a boxer herself, free to George Foreman. She was five and one. Her only loss was to Evelyn Sanchez, you know, and that that's the only fight that Evelyn Sanchez ever won. You know, if you look at the box wreck and, you you know, if you really look at it and, you know, she had a, a iconic father, which is George Foreman. You know, but it just goes to show you with a person that appears to have um, a good life, you know, and everything going for them. You don't know what a person's going through at the end of the day. So um, this is very unfortunate for the sport of boxing because she is a boxer, a retired boxer. You know, she always wanted to box. She came into the world knowing boxing because of who her father was. And then she got the boxing bug, you know, um, later on in life. You know, and she tried it out. She did her six rounds of war, you know, with various opponents and had a, and had an impressive record of five and one. So uh, out of those six, I, I know she took out three. OK. Um, and then she had a, a couple uh, decisions, you know, in there, too. But, you know, she looks a lot like her father. You know, George Foreman has put the stamp on his father. You know, he gave all of his kids his name in some sort of fashion. You know, he's not the only one that did that. But, you know, it just shows he's proud of his kids. Uh, George Foreman has, you know, um, put on his Instagram that he is actually uh, proud of his daughter. You know, she's in heaven. She's with her maker. You know, and uh, it's just sad for him because, you know, you'd hate to see one of your siblings die. And I only have one. So for something to happen to my one child, that would be devastating. You know what I mean? Again, you know, people go through different things for different reasons. Um, and it's just been a tragic time in boxing right now of deaths, you know involving boxers or boxers themselves but anyway um my condolences my condolences goes out to the foreman family i hope they can overcome this you know it's just the thing you ask yourself is what her being 42 you know with uh, uh three grandchildren you know um the people that are surviving you know how are they gonna deal with the loss of frida george foreman but anyway um Thank you guys for listening. Of course, please subscribe. And you guys been counterpunched. Peace.